You've heard the expression, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and well, there's more than one way to clean a fish. So most of the fish cleaning is done with a traditional straight edge blade like this. And of course, it's wonderful when you're in the field and for a number of different applications. However, I find myself using an electric knife more and more these days, especially for larger fish or when you're going through a big batch of fish. So I'm gonna show you right now how I clean walleyes with an electric knife like this Bubba Blade Electric here. In this case, I've chosen the smaller full-size blade for the electric knife, which will be great for cutting through. These are decent sized walleyes, so I'll show you how I get started with it. So this knife has a safety on it. Make sure the safety's off. Knife is hot. We're gonna just come in and cut right behind the gill plate here, leaning the tip of the knife towards the head to get that just little piece of shoulder meat there, and then we'll come right back down towards the belly. So here we go. And I cut all the way down to the backbone. You can see the knife just basically stopped here. That's the biggest issue you'll have when you're learning to use an electric is cutting too deep. So as soon as you feel resistance, that's your stopping point. You don't want to force the knife because it can really cut through, uh, cut through most anything. So we'll hit there. Now we're going to turn the knife basically at a 90 degree angle. Follow that backbone all the way down to the tail of the fish. Here we go. There we go. Nice walleye fillet on that side. All right, now we're just gonna repeat the process on the other side here. And I like to work close to me, so I want the, basically the knife to be as close to the edge as I can in the back of the fish. That way I can maintain that angle to run right down the back end of the fish. If you push it too far forward, you'll notice your knife will be at an angle and you're gonna end up losing that nice piece of meat right along the back. So I always wanna keep the fish close to you or the edge of the cutting surface. I'm gonna go straight down. And all the way down. There we go. Boop. Two chunks of walleye here. Pop that out. Fatty little bugger. Lots of fat in this one. Get the mess of guts out of there. Now we're gonna, I'll show you how I get the, the ribs out of it. I turn it so the ribs are facing away from me. Basically they're going down. It's concave. So what I want to do is I want to just basically come down with the knife and then start to come up and then I'll be able to pull those ribs right out of there once I make the cut through the pin bone. So kind of follow the edge down here, following it down. And I'm just going to make, you can do this faster once you get the hang of it. It actually goes quite quick. So once I've cut through those pin bones, I'm kind of pulling, pulling the knife then back up. You see, I'm pulling it up and I'm just going to pull the rest of this out. I can just pull those bones right out of there. All the ribs are gone. And now we're going to just finish it off by running the knife down the end. Oh, or basically, we're going to finish it off now. I'm just going to cut the height off of this fish. So here we go. And now if you're traveling with fish, you have to make sure that you've got skin on the fish. So if I was traveling with this fish, what I'd do is I'd stop cutting right about there, and I'd come back, and I'd cut the hide like this, and I'd leave. You only need a square inch on there, but I tend to leave a little bit bigger piece of meat on, on the end that I've cut further back. So I'll show you what's nice about this. When I come home and I'm ready to cook this fish, if you just cut straight there, it's really hard to get, get started and get that skin off. So now I can just basically follow the same process that I was doing before. I lay the skin flat, boom, that comes off and you can see that I've got a clean walleye filet that was legally transported. And now I'm gonna get the pin bones out. Pin bones run right along through here. You can feel them if you run your fingers back towards the tail. I'm just gonna run and cut right through here. Boom, just feel the top to make sure there's no bones in there. The same thing along the bottom side. And there you have it. Nice little piece of walleye. Let's repeat the process on this side. We're do the same thing, we'll kind of make that cut. Get down through those bones. And we'll just try to use the knife the best we can. Once I get so far, I just I stop cutting and I just push, and then I'll just peel those ribs right out of there. Pretty slick. Again, same thing. We are going to take the hide off. There you have it. It's amazing that electric fillet knife just cuts all of the meat right off the skin. You don't waste you don't waste anything. No pin bones. See ya. those. 
Sweet. There we go. You can see how slick it is cutting with an electric fillet knife. If you're new to cutting fish with one of these, give it a try. It just takes a little bit to get used to, but once you've gotten accustomed to cutting with them, it makes your life so much easier and fish cleaning that much better.